introducing the Sykes Pickavant True Check. When the unit powers up, it always defaults to its last setting. This unit's been set to 100 Newton meters, 4% tolerance, which is what will be used for checking regular wrenches. If we wish to change any of the settings, we can. Newton meters, change your scale to pound feet, pound inches and back again. If we press mode, we check click wrenches, or we continue to scroll through for dial wrenches and others. But this purpose, it's testing a click wrench. Our scale is set by using the limit button. You can see that 100 is set, but if we want to change it, we can come down. All right, that'll be 100 units to the range we select. So back to 100, press the limit button to store, and then we have the choice of how accurate we want our tester to respond. So 1% and above, obviously. What we set for this purpose is 4%, as that's the tolerance for checking wrenches, and we're stored. So for this purpose, I have the torque wrench here to hand, it's nice and shiny, very new, it's set to 100 newtons and I place it in the torque check. I then pull evenly through the middle of the handle in an arc and it clicks at 114.7 and the red light comes on. If I ease off to zero newtons for three to five seconds and build the pressure up again You have to build it smoothly, otherwise you don't see a relevant. We are 112.7, so we're looking between 96 and 104 for accuracy. This wrench, although shiny and new, is routinely way over the percentage. So three to five seconds at zero, and then a smooth pull. 109, 111.9. So what we have there is. I'll do it again. Is a wrench that's outside of the range. However, it's very shiny, it's very new, it looks oh, accurate, but it isn't. This would need to be calibrated or repaired. I have another wrench here, which I'll put into the checker. It too is set 100 newtons on the scale, and we're comparing its 100 newtons to reality. 96.9, that's within tolerance, the green light was shown. Wait three to five seconds. Test again. 97.2. 97.5. 97.8. This wrench with four tests, all in the range, passes and could stay in use, wouldn't need any action for now. So that's how you use a torque check. What's very important is that it's securely mounted in the vise. Also that the wrench is used in the vertical or pure horizontal plane. Anything in the middle will give a false reading. Hold the wrench in the centre of the handle and pull in an arc smoothly.